Today, we'll be walking through some troubleshooting steps you can take to fix crashes in Adobe Premiere Pro on Windows OS. The first step is to ensure that you're running the latest version of Adobe Premiere. To begin, navigate to the What's New in Premiere Pro page, which will have the latest version number. Then you can match this number with the version that you see in your Creative Cloud desktop application. Navigate to the Apps tab and then find Premiere Pro from your list of apps. You can also tell if you're running the latest version if the status says Up to Date. The next step is to try resetting the preferences and cleaning the media cache files. To do this, we will launch Premiere Pro, and as it's loading, we will hold down one of the modifier keys such as Control, Alt, or Shift. This will bring up a Reset Options dialog box that allows us to reset our preferences and cache files. It is recommended to check all three of these boxes, but you could also try each option separately. You also have the option to disable third-party plugins. Once selected, I'll click on Continue to launch Premiere to see if that fixed the issue. You can also manually check for third-party plugin issues. Navigate here in the File Explorer and simply move the plugins to another location such as your desktop, and then relaunch Premiere. If either of these methods fix the issue, then you should reach out to your plugin vendors and see if there are any available updates that will allow the plugins to be compatible with Premiere Pro. Next, you can try launching your Windows Standard 11 OS in safe mode. Here's a KB article that explains how to do that. This method will help us isolate if there are any hardware or software conflicts with the application. Another step we can take is to turn off any possible security or antivirus software that you might have installed on your system. With those turned off, relaunch Premiere Pro and see if that works. If that was the issue, then you need to add Premiere Pro as an exemption within your security software so that it's no longer considered a threat. The last step is to ensure that the user's document folder is hosted locally and not through a network share. In some cases, we have seen that when the documents folder is redirected to a shared network folder, Premiere Pro doesn't work and is unable to create the preferences and required files to function properly. Now, sometimes you may experience project-specific crashes in Premiere when opening or working in a certain project file. Here's a solution for that. Import the problematic project file into a new project. To do this, launch Premiere and hold down a modifier key. Disable third-party plugins, clear the media cache files, and click Continue. Once Premiere loads, select Create New Project. Give it a name and click Create. Now navigate to File and click on Import. Find your problematic project file and select it. A pop-up will appear asking how you want to import the project. We want to import the entire project and make sure that Create a Folder for Imported Items is checked. Click OK. Now you should be able to access all of the assets from your old project file. If you try all of these steps and your issues still persist, you can open a support case to have Adobe Support reach out to you to help with the issue. I want to walk you through the best practices when opening a support case. To begin, let's walk through filling out a crash report. When Premiere Pro crashes, you should see a crash report dialog box. In this dialog box, you can explain what issues you're experiencing, what version of Premiere Pro you are using, or any other helpful information. Then check this box and enter your email address so that Adobe may contact you. Lastly, you should click on View Report. Copy and paste the crash report into a document to attach it to the case later on. Then send the report. With the crash report sent, you can submit the case to Adobe as well. Mention the email address that was provided in the crash report, as well as the information you provided in the dialog box. There are a few things you can attach to your support case to best help troubleshoot the issue. First, attach the crash report that you pasted into a document when submitting the crash report. You can also attach a system report. I will show you how to save a system report that you can attach to your case. Navigate to the Start menu and type msinfo32. The System Information page will open. Go to File and select Save. Give the file a name and choose the save location. The file extension should be .nfo. Select Save and now you can zip this file and attach it to your support case. If you are experiencing project-specific issues rather than the whole program, you should attach a zipped Premiere Pro project file and system compatibility report to the case. You can access the system compatibility report by going to Premiere Pro, clicking on Help, and going to System Compatibility Report. Click on Export Report, save the file, 
and then attach it to the case. If it is a project-specific issue, it's also helpful to explain the workflow that triggers a crash. If possible, attach a screen recording to demonstrate the problem. Including all of this documentation will give Adobe support all of the tools to best help solve your issue. Those were the recommended troubleshooting steps to help you in the case that Premiere Pro crashes. If none of these steps helped, or you need additional help, we're always here to help and answer your questions. Thank you for watching.